so here we are in After Effects and we got all the clips imported and make sure you pre-compose the clips as well so you don't get any issues. So the first effect we're going to be adding here is Motion Tile. It's like the tiles equivalents in After Effects. Turn on Mirror Edges and make both the LP Width and Height 200. Um, 200. Yeah, so we're going to be using the Sapphire plugin and RSMB. So if you don't got them, you should get them in my server, the AE plugins channel. So add our um, S Blur Mo curves to your clip and make the Z disk 1.2 at the beginning. First U on your keyboard to bring out all the keyframes and then make it 0 0.5 at the end. Then select both keyframes and copy this graph. I advise you get the flow plugin because most of you are already used to alight motion type graphs and you get this smooth zoom in effect and turn on motion blur to give it like more smoothness then we're gonna add rsmb so make it one and the motion sensitivity a hundred so copy all of this all the effects Control a and copy them and go to the next clip and paste so as you can see when you press u and brings out all the keyframes the clip is kind of longer than where the last keyframe stops so to do that we're going to adjust the keyframe to the length of the clip i mean it's fine right now but this is just for you know future purposes so select both keyframes hold alt on your keyboard and then kind of like drag the last keyframe to where you want it to be so it keeps the same graph and it makes it as long as the clip is so we're gonna copy the effects here too and then do the same thing adjust the graph using alt and then finally zoom in on this clip as well so i think this one looks fine so for the zoom out it's just gonna be like the opposite let's add motion tile So LP width and height 200 and turn on mirror edges, then add S blur mo curves. So this one, the Z disk is going to be at 0 0.5 at the beginning and go to the end and make it 1.2. So it like zooms out. And then use the same graph, or you can make it faster. But me personally, I just use the same graph. So I'm gonna add RSMB here too as well. With the same settings as one on the blur amount and moisture sensitivity at 100. Then copy all the effects and just kind of like paste it onto the other one so they zoom out as well. Um just some advice you're gonna have to paste it where the clip like this blue thing here should be at where the clip begins because if i paste it starting here then it's just gonna start the keyframes from here so yeah keep that noted and go to the last clip the next clip paste that as well so i'm just gonna adjust the keyframes a bit and then the last one just paste that so we got all the zoom ins and zoom out. So we're going to do the, you know, the BCC ripple dissolve to get that ripple effect. So I'm just going to go ahead and collapse all this. Press Ctrl A, then this like down thing. And Ctrl Alt Y to create a new adjustment layer. And right here where the adjustment, where you like want the ripple to begin. And then just at the end of the clip. So drag this down. I'm gonna zoom this in a little bit. So to get the BCC ripple dissolve effects, you need to get the BCC plugin. You can get it in my server. BCC ripple dissolve. And change the anim animation from automatic to percentage done. Go to the beginning of the adjustment layer and make the radius peak. Okay, make the radius peak um 
1000 change the height to 25 and set a keyframe at the beginning and make it 100 then go to the end make it zero so you get this and select both keyframes i advise you use a fast out graph like this just apply it then create another adjustment layer i'm just gonna drag this above and cut it at the beginning and cut it at the end so duplicate this two times because we're gonna have one for the ripple one for the half tone effect and one for the shake so the first one we're supposed to do is the half tone so add s underscore half tone from the sapphire plugin and you don't need to change any of these settings but you can if you want to then press t on your keyboard to bring out the opacity make a keyframe at the beginning at 100 and one at the end at zero select both keyframes and use a fast end graph like this then this one add the bcc ripple dissolve on the second adjustment layer make the radius peak 1000 and the height 25 as well you can leave the animation on auto or percentage done if you want to but me personally i use auto so like this smooth one and then for the last one you're going to make the shake so for the shake i'm going to use three effects s underscore shake from the sapphire plugin make the amplitude two at the beginning and then move like a few frames forward and make it zero and frequency maybe like 7.5 select both keyframes and use this graph then we're gonna add twitch which is the second effect make the amount 110 in the beginning and we're gonna go a few frames forward like the middle of these two keyframes and make it zero so use a really really fast graph here like something like this and then finally exposure so i'm gonna make this like six at the beginning so set a keyframe and then go to the end of this one like here and make it zero so select both keyframes again for exposure and then use this graph so I'm gonna zoom this out and then collapse all of this i'm gonna make this take this a little bit up and then select all four of these so we can just duplicate it and move it to that other side so the forklift that's there so something about bcc ripple dissolve is that there are going to be problems if you don't make the layer to reveal the adjustment layer itself so the bcc ripple dissolve you're going to make you're going to put this the layer to reveal as the adjustment layer that is currently on so you get you don't get a white flash thing and then do it for this one as well So there we have it. Enable motion blur for all the clips to make it smoother. And that's literally just it. So let's preview it. So easy, right? And um, uh, an effect you can add to like the clips is radial blur we give it like this zoom kind of look so change the type to zoom not spin and then you can like that's whatever you want i don't know i use like five to seven to make it like subtle and yeah so we can add radial blur if you want if you want though so the next uh, tutorial I'm going to be making is on no nulls because a lot of you are asking. I do not even remember how that app works, but I guess I got to do it. So drop any tutorial requests in the comments and any questions you have, and I'll see you in the next one.